answers from the Father's heart. I'm so ex excited today. It's such a gorgeous day here. This fall uh, day, beautiful fall day in northeastern Pennsylvania is where I live. Um, yes, yeah, so I wanted to uh, just get on here and just say please like, share, and subscribe for the Lord, for the Hall of All for His Glory, for the Kingdom. And, you know, please hit the notification bell because I did my first live video, uh, I guess a few days ago. You can look on my channel and you'll see it. Uh, two precious ladies joined. It was fantastic. The presence of the Lord moved. Uh, so that was exciting. That was my first live that I did. But as I was told by a friend of mine who knows a lot about these things, he said sometimes they don't um, notify. So please, uh, I'm going to come up with something. Maybe I could put it on my Facebook or Facebook Messenger, Instagram that I'm going to be, when I'm going to be doing the lives. Because I don't want you to miss what God's doing. God is so awesome. But I'm coming on here. Um, Boy, I'm just looking how beautiful uh, the trees. I love the fall because all the leaves change colors and you could see God's artistry. He's such an artist. Uh, I'm a little bit of an artist too. I do some painting, um, but I haven't done it in a while, so I need to, to do that. Uh, but anyway, I want to come on here and tell you I had another rapture dream. <laughs> Amazing. So about two days ago, actually. So here's the dream. This is about my fourth rapture dream. And so in the dream, I was on the side of like a highway, I guess it was. And there were cars going by, trucks, cars, you know, and I'm on the side of the road. Beautiful day too. The sun's out, the sky is clear. And all of a sudden, within seconds, the sky turns to the like this blood red color. But it it's a color that I've never seen before. Very frightening and awesome so I yell out I go oh no it's the rapture and other people are screaming you know on the side of the road it's interesting I don't know why it was on the highway but you know things in dreams don't always mean what they what it, what's what's there it's sometimes it can be symbolic and sometimes it could be a two or three full meaning anyway so I'm on the side of the road like I said the the sky turns this blood red color uh, and people are screaming and yelling and I'm like oh wow this is the end and I I think I started running and I saw my daughter this is interesting my daughter Victoria she was taken up I saw it and then all these other people hundreds of thousands of people were being taken up and uh, then this is interesting. It was a dream, but did you ever have a dream within a dream? This is how it was. So I dreamt that and I thought I was thinking it wasn't as real as that other one that I had. But I was thinking maybe this is it, maybe this is it. Then right after um I saw my daughter being taken up, the next scene of the dream was I'm in my bathroom in my house. I go into the bathroom and I'm like screaming so loud but nothing came out did you ever have that if anybody's ever had that before put that in the description box you know and let us know but um i'm sorry in the comment section um but yeah i was like and my husband was there and he said what's the matter i said it's the rapture it's the rapture gerard and he goes calm down and that was the end of the dream and i woke up and i'm like now i'm laying in bed and i'm like frozen i'm like lord it's so close. You keep giving me rapture dreams. I'm telling you, people, this is my fourth rapture dream. And so we really have to be ready, prepared, okay? Because the end is coming. And uh, we don't want to be left here. We want to be ready. We want to be, you know, uh, have our hearts prepared, have our minds prepared for God's coming, okay? So that's it. That was Two days ago, another rapture dream. So the Lord is really, really speaking here. And uh, yeah, so that's what I wanted to come on here and tell you. I love you all. If you've had any rapture dreams recently or any uh, warnings, any um, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, anything that God has uh, been speaking to you, please share because 
we we are all the Holy Spirit's going to speak the same thing to people. Whether you know, there's could be people in China, Africa, wherever they are, God is going to be saying the same thing. He's not going to tell us something different because we're the body of Christ, right? All right, so that's it. I love you. God loves you, and remember. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He wants to do for you amazing things. He's the God of the impossible. Just expect. I want to tell you, like, we don't have much left of this year. Believe it or not, we're almost through 2022. Just go in, just as the end of this year is coming to a close, look with expectation about what God wants to do. He wants to use all of you like you've never been used before because there's people out there. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. He's looking for laborers. So I'm so excited about what God's doing with all of you, with me, my family. Um, I'm excited about this YouTube channel. I want to thank every one of you who are supporting me. Pr please pray for me if you can't give. I do have... Um, some information like Zelle, you could give to me through Zelle. It's it's in the description box. If you feel led in your heart to give, um, you know, please give. Uh, but pray for me because I get attacked. Sometimes the enemy's like, close that channel down. It's not doing anything. But you know what? I'm not going to close the channel down. I'm going to keep it open because it's all for God's glory. I do really do not want to be on camera. Okay, I'm not like that. I'm not a narcissistic person. Some people like being on the camera. I don't. But I'm doing it for God. I'm doing it to get his word out. I'm doing it to encourage, to help the body of Christ. I'm a teacher. I'm prophetic. I'm a seer. Um, you know, I want I want to help encourage and strengthen the body. That's, that's what I'm doing. And also bringing forth God's heart, God's mind, you know, as he gives me things. And, uh... Who knows what he's going to do next, but here I am in my car speaking to you. And remember, car is symbolic of ministry, okay? So this is my ministry. Treasures from the Father's Heart is part of my ministry, but also we have a church called Lift Church. You could look www.lift-church.org or .com. You can look up our, uh, we're still, the website needs help because the guy that was doing it, he just... <laughs> disappeared. So I'm like, Lord, we need another web person to help us. But it's all good. It's all for his glory. It's all for his kingdom. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Does 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1 and Titus chapter 2 verse 13 really say that Jesus is God? Well, a few months ago, I put up a video about the Granville Sharp Rule, arguing that the Granville Sharp